What are you hoping to achieve in the next few years? Are you planning to set up the world's first space nation? Are you going to save humanity by digging out your boogers? Or are you just planning to have kids, travel the world, or write a novel? Like a boring McBorson. Why not try something a little fruitier instead? Like the projects we're about to cover in our list of the seven strangest plans for the future. In at number seven, the first space nation. When humankind establishes its first settlement in space, we're going to have a lot to think about. Such as who gets to go there, what language will they speak, and who gets to be space president. Oh god, not another election. Can you even molest somebody in space? The one thing we've already decided on is the name of this country. Because in October 2016, the founder of the Aerospace International Research Center, Igor Azerbelli, announced plans to establish Asgardia. Earth's first space nation. Mr. Ashubelli is deadly serious about this proposal, and as head of UNESCO's Science of Space Committee, he's got the means to achieve his goal. Asgardia is already seeking recognition as a state from the United Nations, and competitions are currently underway to help design it a flag, national anthem, and insignia. Their first goal is to crowdsource a satellite and launch it sometime in 2017. But long-term, the Asgardian nation wants to create a new legal framework for the peaceful exploitation of space, free of the control of Earth-bound nations. After opening up its registration website, more than half a million people from 100 different countries have now applied for citizenship, making it the 169th most populous nation on Earth. Elections will be held in 2017 for continental, state, and local areas, and even during its short history, this fledgling nation has even come under attack, albeit a cyber attack. Although not everyone is convinced about Asgardia's peaceful nature, as despite the fact this nation doesn't even exist yet, some people think it is merely part of a grand project to control people's minds. At 6. Fungus Fashion Today, we make clothes using cotton harvested in fields, silk spun by bugs, and leather taken from the tanned hides of moo cows. But soon we might replace these traditional techniques with one which you may have tried yourself, if you're the kind of lazy schmuck who never cleans your bathroom. The growing of mushrooms. Researchers have discovered that the thread-like roots of the mycelium fungus can be bound together to form a strong, eco-friendly material and as well as being used to create clothes, several businesses are planning to roll out a whole range of products based on mushroom materials. Packaging, furniture, and even bricks are just some of the things which New York firm Ecovative Design believes can be produced from fungus in the future, which is great news for the environment, but bad news for this guy. At 5. The Return of the Mammoth with so many cool folks died off in 2016, humanity really needs someone to make a comeback from the dead in the next 12 months. But since it's not that likely the corpses of Kurt Cobain or Amy Winehouse will resurrect themselves, instead we'll have to make do with the return of the woolly mammoth. Obviously, the original flavor mammoth went extinct around 10,000 years ago, but a group of Harvard Medical School researchers planned to create a woolly mammoth tribute act by using the CRISPR gene editing technique to make an Indian elephant hairy and cold resistant. So while it's not actually a genuine mammoth, it will kind of look like one. At number four, it's not a joke. Are you mining for nose gold as you watch Strange Mysteries? Well, don't go wiping those boogers down the back of the sofa just yet because you might be holding a valuable weapon which could well save humanity from extinction. In 2016, biologists at Germany's Tübingen University discovered that a bacterium which lives in the human nostril produces an antibiotic which could be used to fight infections. Infections which are becoming ever tougher to defeat as our reliance on antibiotics increases. 
The Tubingen team are now looking for commercial partners to help develop the bacteria into a viable drug. And this rollout can't come soon enough. For years, scientists have warned of our need for a new class of antibiotics. Thanks to the rise of resistant superbugs such as MRSA. But little did we know that the answer was under our noses the whole time. 3. You're on the radio! If you're looking to lose weight, find stylish clothes or start a lawsuit against a loved one, a commercial for those products will use language and persuasive tactics to attempt to communicate directly with your desires. But if the Grace Note company have their way, these adverts will start literally talking to you in your home, through your phone, and as you drive around in your car. Grace Note develops user profiles which can be used to target an individual person with a customized advertisement by identifying the songs you listen to, the car you drive, and the places you visit, they can insert specific advertisements into terrestrial radio broadcasts. This technology is already used to help target users more effectively with online video streaming, but soon this will spread to your television, tablet, and smartphone too. And as your user profile becomes ever more detailed, your ads are going to start getting oddly specific. Meaning that one day in the future, you could be driving down the freeway for a relaxing family day out with the wife and kids, only for the radio to suddenly interrupt its broadcast with an announcement that the cure for Nathan's extremely painful hemorrhoids is waiting for you at the next turnoff. At number 2. Inpatient Browsing Your search history can tell you a lot about yourself such as your favorite kind of movie, what kind of takeout you like best, and how secretly racist you are when you think nobody's looking. But soon, it may also be able to tell you that you have cancer. Scientists from Microsoft Research have proposed a 39% of tumor diagnosis could be made a whole year earlier if your search history was cross-referenced with demographic data and various symptoms. It's basically like Minority Report's precog thing except for diseases. And to achieve this, Microsoft scientists looked at the search terms used by people who were later diagnosed with cancer, such as, why is my chest hurting? And why is my third testicle the size of a beach ball? When they combined this data with location and symptom information, scientists calculated that an extra 3% of cancer patients could receive a much earlier warning if such a system were put in place. Eh, I don't care if it'll save my life. I am not disabling in private browsing anytime soon. Nobody needs to see the unfathomable filth I'm into. And at number one, NASA's Innovative Advanced Concepts Program. In April of this year, NASA gave $100,000 to 13 individual projects in phase one of its Innovative Advanced Concepts Program. And while all these missions seem worthwhile endeavors, some of them seem absolutely crazy to the average layman. Project Rama definitely falls under that category, as this mission plans to trick out an asteroid with computers, avionics, and propulsion systems in order to turn it into a spacecraft we can actually pilot. Other odd but useful projects include the creation of self-recycling rockets and robots, the design of a giant rotating space habitat, and the development of the shiniest material ever made, solar white. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has also been funded in their efforts to create a spaceship which can journey to the center of an icy moon by crashing itself down into a cryovolcano. But by far the craziest space plan in development is the astonishing Titan Mare. The Titan Mare is a submarine which is being designed as we speak, and the project aims to launch in 2040, land on Saturn's largest moon Titan by the mid-2040s, and explore its liquid oceans for signs of life. So, those are just a few of the craziest plans for the future. But if you'd rather find out what the world will look like over the next 10 years, then you're in luck, as we've made a video on that too. Aren't we nice to you?